Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Dark Souls 2 Lore Through. And we're going to um, continue through the Shrine of Amana. This area is kind of infamous for the first patch of the first game where the vision of these, um, of these, I guess these could be Lindell clerics or sorcerers of some sense. I don't know if those are sorceries or um, miracles or not. But they used to home really badly, and the vision was from long... Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so, I mean, I haven't played the Skull of the First Sin yet, so... so old Knight Helm. I don't know if we've gotten any of their armor yet. How old could the, this nearly crumbling helmet be? It has extremely low durability, sometimes just as a thing fault. Yeah, and that's... Why did that one go all the way up? Oops. Okay, they actually don't do that much damage. What is that noise? I don't know if you could hear that on my... Wow, they just keep going. Just trying to get back... to get this item over here, and uh, yeah, as I say, I don't know if you could hear what was going on, but there's some noise that was crazy. I didn't even know where it was coming from. Wait, what? Oh! I thought I grabbed that guy. It's a different guy. Can I walk here even? So yeah, I actually don't think there's a reason to go up here. I mean, I think there's a reason, but I don't think there's a, uh, like, there's no item up there, but I'll, I'll show you anyway. Just meant to give you a uh, overview of this area and see that there's a Pharos lock stone. Maybe that's why there's a Pharos lock stone. Oh wow, there's a dragon rider there. Now that makes sense <laughs> that there's a dragon rider there. But some of these placements I'm not sure about. But anyway, I guess that makes sense why we saw a Pharos lock stone because maybe they were attempting to bring it here and. what this is. Helix Halberd. Right, 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 right. It's kind of cool. A halberd with a helix-shaped handle, headed with a double blade, a complex design, some would say excessively so, that hides the spirit within its handle. Although its precise origins are unclear, its construction appears to utilize techniques from the lost land of Olaphus. So that would imply to me that this place was in use in during Olaphus times. Um, not the same use, I don't think, but I just thought this this shrine of Amana, like, you know, the Amana character or whatever that it's referring to, might be older than the, the, uh, the Vendrick storyline. Okay, that's still a fire seed. Um, we do not need to 
go there yet because we will go there later. Um, can you go up this way? It is interesting. Uh, don't know when it starts to fall off. It's kind of hard to see. Um, the the uh, sorcerers. Oh, this guy's still here. Huh? I figured they would have taken him out. Ooh, interesting. But yeah, they're the ones that drop the crimson water. Oh, there's two more here. Yeah, they really, like, beefed this place up a little bit. But it seems like maybe they're easier to... I don't know what, what this is. I don't know if it's harder or not. There's certainly a lot more of them. I know this next section always bothered me. Well, the next two sections bothered me. Um, let's check it out. Crimson water still. Let's try to fight you on uh, at least... Oh, wow. What the heck? He took me no damage. Let's try this again. Oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, there's a uh, bad geometry there. You can't get up that side if you fall down. Oh, okay, I see. For whatever reason, I was hitting in a weird direction there. Terrible timing with that. timing all around. Alright. Gotta be careful. I want to look around, but I also don't want to fall in, and I really can't see on my computer all that well. Snuck in there. No one of these you can't pass on the left. That's it right there. And this one. Come on. Okay, just get to safety. Just use some of these. Oh wow. I think that's might have what had been out here. Uh, and there's a chest here. Okay, good. This looked like it was right on the edge, so I didn't want to fool around with <laughs> diving and jumping all over the place for fear of just... Or locking on, even. <sighs> Please don't be a mimic all of a sudden. Okay. Sunlight blade. An ancient miracle of the sun reinforces weapon in other hand with sunlight in form of lightning. The sun grants life to all things upon the earth, even if the worshippers of sunlight no longer bless the surface with their presence. So the warriors of sunlight are all but gone, except that we found their like shrine in Harvest Valley. It's just so silly to like walk one step too far and just completely biff it. I don't know the areas well enough to just be like, oh, this area is all 
not gonna kill me. Oh, there's someone over there. Okay. At least it's not a ranged guy. Alright. Now this is where Pilgrim Bel Claire was in the original. I think it was that person. But anyway, let's grab this because we probably need all the help we can get here. Oh, that, okay, there was just someone there I killed earlier. Gotcha. Okay, there's not many ranged guys so far. Okay. Arch Drake boots, okay. I don't know if we've gotten any, oh wow, there's like a whole bunch of stuff over here. Nice. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I don't even know what's like over here. Because I've never, like, there was no enemies over here before. Oh, yeah. It's different. Another thing that makes this area just brutal, or not fun, maybe is a better word, is the water. I mean, it's just... This is kind of cool, because they definitely force you to, like, encounter these guys at the same time. I definitely could have had more stamina there. Oh yeah, and then there's this character that the guy is shooting now. Who yeah heals them from afar. Although she doesn't have any attacks other than that. Okay, is all of this can I walk on all of this? Okay, that's fine. I will go with this for a little bit. Is this a chest here? What's going on? No. There is an item up on top of this. Which at first I was going to say, um, the great sword, but that's actually Dark Souls 3 I'm thinking of, where there's like a great sword on the top of a incline like this. In a swamp. <laughs> uh, although it's a poison swamp. What is this? Okay, so this is just someone. Um, and I believe we cannot walk here. Uh, I mean, I guess we can get this. Oh, come on. Okay. But, like that, for example, is the other side. How we do it? Oh, pff, we're 13 minutes in. We're good. This guy's tying one hit, uh, doesn't matter for right now. So we're gonna sit down, well, okay, I was gonna say, I didn't, I didn't think they moved any bonfires, but if they had, then, you know, I can't really, uh, <laughs> all my assumptions would be incorrect. Okay. So yeah, this is definitely a good time for, uh, Or uh, an arrow. Gosh, I'm still so into the uh, Dark Souls uh, 2 where the menu's on the other side. Um, okay, is this someone? Oh, it is. Cool. If we should go kill that one right there. So yeah, I don't know if these are like larvae of the... Oh wow. 
ants or some relation to the ants because obviously they're uh, putting the corrosive stuff out just the same way. Um, and we saw them around the ants earlier. Oh god. Let's try this area. Come on. Oh, they're pacifying these guys, even? You take care of that guy. Oh, gosh. Not now. <laughs> My cat's yelling at me. This is mental. <laughs> I mean, the last, the last section was very crazy, but I mean, this is like, um, I don't know. I feel it's like, way, like this thing right here. Just gotta get rid of that. There we go. It feels so much more chaotic. I guess I don't know. Maybe that's because I usually take them all out with a bow. Now we get summoned by the thing. Okay, see again, that's an improvement. Because we used to get invaded while trying to fight all those guys. Okay, this is a. Seems like this guy might be part of the air. Oh my god! I really thought I avoided that. Get out of here. Glad they had a uh, summon there. And now, is Felicia Brave the full thing? Like, in other words, will she just follow until we beat the boss? That'd be nice. Red Iron Twin Blade. Twin Blade with heavy ends on each. Heavy blades on each end make, make more suited to smashing foes than slashing them. The twin blade closely imitates the design of a foreign made object that has blades affixed to both ends of its hilt. Don't know what that's referring to. Okay, don't push me, Felicia the Brave. Homing uh, crystal soul mass. Let's see what it has to say about it. Soul beads made more lethal with crystallization. Crystallization makes souls and sorceries all the more powerful. Okay, that's pretty standard. Okay, I'm gonna need to get around here, Felicia the Brave. Okay, and then the other thing is that we should get the other items, Felicia the Brave. Time is it? Okay. Oh my dear lord. Felicia the Brave. Oops. I'm glad that, um, I was thinking Felicia the Brave that I was like, ugh, I want to fight that again. I want to do exactly what I just did. Roy's Resting Place. That's an interesting name for this bonfire. Alright. Let's do this again. I guess I could have, like, actually leveled this up to make it viable to 
whatever, but... Okay, well maybe we can actually... Oh god. Okay, so the first person I want to really try... Oh, that was just bad. Timing. Oh, oh, Jesus. Get out of here. It's just insane. Great. Yeah, they certainly made this area more interesting. Oh, come on. Felicia pushing me. Oh, please, I hope the invader doesn't come again. Well, it's too bad that Felicia had to leave. All right, well, let's... <clears throat> all about. So wait, is there something over here? Or is it just that person? Huh, okay. I guess they could have attacked you from over here or something? I don't know. Well, anyway. Is there anything over here? No. There's this lady here, which I actually don't know exactly what this is, but I think what happens is that these guys are trapped in a way and we have to like free them. I'm not really sure. All right, now let's check out the boss. Vendrick, Velstat, or uh, the Demon of Song, rather. This this can be a tricky boss. Um, yeah, like that type of stuff where it's just hard to avoid some of these attacks. And the attacks do so much. But susceptible to damage for sure. And there's this. Oh, wow, I'm glad that only hit me that much. But it has dark. can't hit it when its head is like that, of course. It does have this lunge attack, which I do want to avoid. This attack sucks. Okay. But, not a big deal.
and we get the Demon of Song Soul and the key to the Embedded. Soul to the Demon of Song at the Shrine of Amana. When this demon developed a taste for human flesh, it was contained within the Shrine of Amana, but the line of priestesses who looked after the shrine and appeased the creature have died off. So that's interesting. So maybe the Demon of Song was here before. Um, maybe they, this was the, what Olaphus had this for. Oh, I forgot. Oh, do we get we got another, another Estus flash? Uh, uh, Estus flask, and then here is uh, let's read. It's interesting. This ladder miniature that we bought from Gillian is a key item. Uh, Oh, right, key to the embedded is actually a, a weapon. Sword that opens the embedded's door, shaped like a weapon, but is in fact a key. Plunge the key into the embedded to bring a, a, a rhapsodic end to his fate. The once human embedded, realizing that he could never resist the temptations of the flesh, bound himself eternally with chains. Since then, he has awaited the day that somebody will find his key, this key, and bury it within his face. Is what that means to say. Bury it within his face, not his bosom. His face. All right. So yeah, that's that's uh, Shrine of the Amana, Shrine of Amana. Uh, nope. Gotta check all the places. And there's a Cyan Knight. So yeah, you can see that we'll start to see a lot more Cyan Knights here. And um, wow, I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that. Because apparently, this is what the science knights used while Drang Lake was at its peak. This is what, you know, this was used to, I guess, prove the science knights' abilities and such. Oh my gosh. I thought I fell down there. Just trying to make sure there's no. Oh my goodness, okay. So there's a path over here. Okay. Okay. Looks like there's an area over there. Um I don't think there's any items there. Maybe, oh, wow, you need a frame branch of your again here now. Okay, let's do it. The, all the people that you, uh, like, defragment to get to an area are all, like, the same enemy, it looks like. So, yeah, this is actually not meant to be the bonfire that... Like you're supposed to hit after the Demon of Song. This is like a little separate area. And actually, we're not going to look at it. I will bring you up here. Um, so yeah, they have these doors here. And actually, um, yeah, you can't get in them unless you're hollowed. But since we'll, we'll kind of... We'll be coming back. You know, in fact, let me just quick run and do this. Since we're at 30 minutes, and we'll, we'll make the next section be its own thing, too, so let us just use this, although I think I left la left last left this in an up position. Okay, good. Thank you. Oh, no, no, I came back down, obviously.
but yeah, the key to the embedded, the embedded is in this area up here. Um, and we can, um, you know, equip this as a weapon. It's a big key, but it's a sword. But uh, you actually just don't need to. I don't know why it's hit his bosom. Because, you know, we can clearly see that it goes right into his face. This ring appears human, even when hollow. They say that in the undead crypt, we can reacquaint ourselves with the dead. We all suffer loss, and none of us can escape death. Then what is the fascination with reclaiming that which is already passed into the beyond? So another mention of the undead crypt there. We can hear some singing after we so save that milfinito, and now we can say that that's a milfinito. Uh, and I guess we've saved two of them. It's not very uh, explicit, and it's part of a covenant that's not really. Um, I don't know. It's kind of. It might not be a covenant actually, but I don't know. We'll see. Once we get to the, our next loose ends video, I will. Uh, Look at that cut, that fashion souls. Alright. So we'll come back to the, uh, what is this called? The Tower of uh, Rise of the Dead. So yeah, we'll have to be uh, hollow, or, I mean, I guess hollow is not the right word, but um, non human, non human appearance. Oh wow, that knocks me down. I don't have a ton of poise, but damn, these guys are like nothing. Okay. Um, okay. Is there no other... I swear there was another item, but I guess that's... Um, There's probably another area that I'm thinking of. Or we missed something. Alright. Let's continue on to this very garishly decorated door. And now, I guess we might be going up. Or deeper. This is very similar to the lifts of Dark Souls 1, the three chains on this one side, meaning you would exit from here, and then this insignia looks like that of Dark Souls 1 Let, um, elevators. That was weird. No, they moved this, uh, this bonfire it used to be right here, I believe. I'm like almost positive. Um, but they moved it out here because now we get spoken to by the Sculler, the first sin again. And, uh, they didn't have enough room for him to come out. 
Although, there's another area where we have a much smaller area to talk to him, and he still appears there, so I don't know. Person too. What is it that to succeed King Bendrick. Once the Lord of Life banished the mark and all that stand from humanity. And men assumed a freaking form. These are the roots of our world. Men are props in state of life. And no matter how tender, how exquisite, the light will remain alive. Young Horror, knowing this, do you still desire peace? Yeah. Venric, the near true monarch, is here, and not far off. But what is it, King? You, neither born with great wisdom granted in my defense. What is it you seek? You cannot even say yourself. <laughs> you shall meet again, the Unharrowed. That makes me to think of two things. One, he says, but what is a king? Which is just what the Milfinito said a moment ago. As if he or someone who thinks the way he thinks told the Milfinito how to think. Two, um, what else did he say? Ugh, I lost it already. I mean, he, uh, he did recount the story of, um, Gwyn, and kind of said that he banished darkness, which is, again, not really true about what's actually happening with that. Um... Because of light, there is darkness, for example. Um, that was kind of interesting. And then he said, uh, Vendrick is through this way. So I am um, eager to await, meet the king. Uh, but I think that'll do it for today, Undead Crypt Entrance. Perfect. Um, We'll just have a shorter episode now, and uh, we'll take on the Undead Crypt next time. Bye.